Alright, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video giving my thoughts on the future of Baby Judith for the Walking Dead television series. Don't get bit. All right, good stuff. So this is one I had a few people sort of ask me about over a good amount of time since pretty much the end of The Walking Dead Season 4, or really kind of since Judith has been shown to have survived too far gone. Now, I touched on this a little bit in the Q&A uh, yesterday that I did, um, but I wanted to expand on it a little bit because I know that it's one that a lot of people are really kind of interested in hearing. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing videos where I kind of give my thoughts on each particular character for The Walking Dead Season 5, do some predictions on what I think we're going to see from each of them, like character preview type videos. Um, for Judith, okay, so this one basically is going to be answering the question, what do I think is going to happen to Baby Judith in The Walking Dead TV series? And, you know, how long is she going to survive? Are they going to kill her off? You know, what are they going to do? Anything like that? What's going to happen? Well, um, what I would say is that I think at this point, because she survived the initial too far gone, you know, endeavor with the governor and everything like that, I think they're going to keep her alive permanently. Or at least when I say permanently, I mean for a very long time because... The Walking Dead comic book series, of course, um, basically she's killed off at that point at Too Far Gone, and uh, as well as Lori. She's killed off with Lori, basically. Um, in the TV series version, of course, they changed that quite a bit, and um, essentially they used it as kind of a nice reveal where we didn't know what happened to her. We assumed she was dead, and then in the second half it was kind of shown with a great reveal that she had actually been saved by Tyrese which adds some some stuff to Tyrese. It makes him more of a hero, makes him more of a good guy, which is really cool and has made him one of my favorite characters in the TV series already. Um, with regards to the baby, though, uh, I talked about in the Q&A a little bit how I think that she could grow up over the course of the series, and I firmly believe that. Now, here's the thing you guys got to understand. A lot of people think that Walking Dead won't last to 20 seasons or won't last even 15 seasons or whatever. Well, we'll have to wait and see. However, if you compare what The Walking Dead is doing to what other AMC shows are doing, even when The Walking Dead first started, like the very first season, the first episode, it's grown every year in terms of viewership all the way up until now. And in addition to that, it seems to just be growing in terms of just the amount of people, the audience just grows and grows and grows. So they're even going to be adding on an additional series, you know, which is kind of like we're getting two seasons of The Walking Dead every season, except, you know, we're going to have, have a whole new cast of characters and it won't always be for, uh, you know, of course, uh, for Rick. But even in The Walking Dead comic book series, we're starting to see more of a concentration on different characters, okay? So, you know, it's not always going to be concentrated just on Rick. Even in the TV series we saw season four, uh, same kind of thing, concentration on different characters, not always just concentrated on Rick. You couldn't do a 16-episode uh, drama series of the quality of The Walking Dead and always have every episode focused on Rick. You can't do it. It would be so boring. So in terms of the show, I think it has the right formula to last a very long time. It has a huge fan base. It's unique. There's nothing like it out there. It has a comic book which it can base from. It has a lot of talented people involved in it. And it's already going to be starting season five, you know, this coming um, this coming October, obviously. I wouldn't be surprised if the show lasted 20 seasons. I wouldn't be shocked at all. And some people say, oh, you know, the, yeah, there's no way it's going to last so long. Well, I mean, you know, uh, we can do predictions on it, that kind of thing. But based on the numbers, based on how the show's doing, I don't think it's a stretch based on the AMC's already planning for that. They're already planning, like the vice president says you know, we're going to try to do this for 20, 22 seasons, 25 seasons, whatever. Um, they're already planning for that. They're going to need as many characters, basically, as they can get. And to see a character like Judith grow up over the show to eventually the point where she'll be at, you know, Carl's age or another character's age, I think is a very cool possibility for the future of the show if it goes on that long, right? Um, and I think, I honestly think it will. I honestly think it will go on at least, if Smallville got 10 seasons, <laughs> The Walking Dead, I say it like a broken record, I apologize. But it's true. You know, when a show that's like that, it has a fan base, it has a comic book origin, but the show itself, you know, is it really that good? 
you know, I, I personally am not a big Smallville fan. But The Walking Dead, of course, has a huge audience. It's extremely well done. And they can switch out characters more easily than almost any other show you can imagine. What's more easy to switch out? A show like, I don't know, like a, like a comedy series like The Simpsons that's gone on forever. Um, where people might, like, you would think people eventually would get tired of Homer, but they haven't. <laughs> but you have a lot of other characters, too. But in The Walking Dead, of course, um, you could just kill off a character. You could kill Rick off, have somebody else. So I think that they're going to keep Judith alive pretty much permanently because of that fact that it would be cool to see her literally grow up over the, the years in The Walking Dead television series and use her as a second Carl down the line. So Carl's going to go one way, and then eventually, you know, as Judith grows, she's going to be a kid. She's going to be younger. They can use her as a sort of a damsel in distress type thing a lot, um, which damsel, I guess, not not damsel in distress, but the character in distress <laughs> that Rick wants to save. It can add drama to the series. There's lots of things they can do with it. And also, I don't really see them killing her off anytime soon. So personally, personally, I think because she escaped the initial, the you know, the initial trouble, she's going to survive pretty much as long as the series is on, I think. I think, um, you know, we'll be talking about whether or not she's going to die in like season 10, season 15, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, and I'll still be here. I'll still be right here. <laughs> so those are kind of my thoughts on it to expand a bit on what I wanted to say in the Q&A, but I didn't for sake of time. And it's just that, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if The Walking Dead lasted a super long time. Listen, there's shows like Mad Men that have been on for, what, like seven seasons? And it gets like three million views an episode, and it's still going strong. And AMC likes it, and they promote it and everything, and they use it. The Walking Dead's getting like 15, 16 million views an episode. Okay? Unless, every, unless they do something drastically bad with the walking dead and everyone's like oh it sucks now it sucks so bad it's just it's not going to happen the show will just keep going and going and going i pretty much guarantee it um we'll see what happens when they add on the second series and how that you know affects it because then we're kind of getting like two seasons every year of the whole zombie apocalypse walking dead concept character driven story concept even if it doesn't have rick but anyway, with regards to Baby Judith, you know, I think it'll be cool to see a character like, you know, just be born in the third season of the show. And then if they get to season like 20 or something, have like, you know, like, a, you know, I don't know, 14, 15, 16. If you have a couple time skips and they're 20-year-old actor playing Judith all those years later. Grew up in a zombie apocalypse. I mean, come on. You think they want to turn away from a, a, a possibility of a storyline like that? I don't see it. I think it'd be foolish too. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about the possibilities of that. What you think we're going to see with that. I think since she has survived now, she's going to go all the way through. And with regards to season five and, and her being with um, you know uh, Tyrese and Carol, the people at Terminus are really cruel, but I don't think they're going to want to kill a baby. Like They're really messed up. You know, but Mary and that, don't you think Mary looks like she's had some kids of her own? You know, that kind of thing. You really think that they would, I don't think so. So that could even be a possible storyline they could explore with maybe, um, you know, uh, having Tyrese or Carol join the Terminus group and then help set free the others. Or maybe they're already there with the powdered milk and uh, they're in traps somewhere. But somehow Rick's group's got to escape. And when they do, I'm, I'm sure a huge moment for season five will be Judith being reunited with Rick and the others. I'm sure it'll be a you know huge moment. So uh, that's what I think is going to happen with Judith in season five, at least early on, and throughout the longevity of the show. I think she'll always kind of be there in the background kind of thing, uh, in and around somewhere as they join communities and stuff. And it uh, should be fun. should be lots of fun to see the character grow. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about uh, the character. If you like the video, please uh, like the video below. If you want to uh, support the channel, add to favorites. Uh, check out the uh, link in the description for SuperheroStuff.com. Uh, Feel free to buy a shirt if you want. Support the channel. And I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. See you for the next one. This is Travis, as always. Stay in peace.